for a single Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising or Venus sign, then let's see what's going to happen for you for the month of May. Check out the messages. I just want to mention if you'd like to win a private reading, then the information is going to be down below. And if you don't win the private reading, there's also information for paid readings if you are interested in those. Um, but of course, I do have all my free readings here on YouTube as well, so you could check those out alternatively for different messages um, for your different signs. So let's see, Pisces, what's happening for the singles in May of 2019. First card, Two of Swords. This came out in the Cancer reading as well emotionally conflicted let's see what else actually we we get through let's see let's see let's see we have the lovers wow six of cups this is a singles reading remember there's that conflict that i was seeing I feel you're very much conflicted about a certain person in your life. You've got two twos. You've got the two there with the lovers. Um, this is Gemini energy, so, you know, the twins. But also you've got the two of swords, but you've also got two people here as well. And the six of cups is a soulmate card, so that's very interesting. We have the death card which flipped over, which is water energy. Hmm, very interesting. I'm just going to pull the rest of the three cards. Wheel of Fortune. This card is just really sticking out, so I'm going to take that one. We've got the Nine of Pentacles there. Okay, we have the Four of Cups that has flipped out. Your cards came out super easily today. Um, which is great. Okay, so there is definitely some form of conflict I'm seeing, first of all, with the Two of Swords. This is about not knowing whether this particular person I'm feeling is genuine or not, because there's this idea of going back and forth, this indecisiveness that you're feeling. However, I am seeing that there is, there is someone here that really does want to come forward to you. So I am feeling like right now you're in this single energy. Um, so this is going to only resonate with a certain portion of Pisces, <laughs> Pisces out there. But I am seeing that um, this abundance, you're in a lot of abundant energy right now, which, you know, by yourself you feel great. In your single energy you feel very abundant, you feel radiant, you feel joyful, you've got all of your coins there, you're just very happy with it, how things are right now. But there's this indecisiveness when it comes to love, you're just not sure... And it's almost like you don't want to meet new people or date new people and it's just, it feels like a chore. It just feels too much, it just feels like you'd rather just sit at home and not go out and not bother with all of that because it could hurt you. So that's what I'm seeing is there's this indecisiveness of not wanting to go out, not wanting to go date because you just feel like it's just too much. It hurts your brain, especially with this five of wands. It hurts your mind, there's this inner conflict, like what if I meet someone and then they just dump me, or what if I meet someone and they cause me hurt. I just can't be bothered with that, I'd rather sit at home in my pyjamas, watch a film, or work on my laptop, or watch YouTube videos, um, and just not bother. So there's that kind of a conflicted energy on one hand, you know, you feel, you feel good with how things are right now in your life, and you don't want someone to come in and just ruin that. We also have the Four of Cups, which is again you just focusing on yourself, doing your own thing, and I am seeing that there's this little peeking offer coming through, which means that there is someone that's very interested in you, or there is this opportunity to potentially meet someone who can be very interested in you, and someone that's really going to want to offer you something. So we see here with the Lovers card, um, this is ruled by Gemini, that there is potential for love in May if you choose to really go out and to explore things with this person. I feel like they're the one that's going to be reaching out to you and at first you can be a little bit standoffish and not very receptive to it whatsoever but if you are, you know, I feel like they're going to keep trying. This person is one of your soulmates in this lifetime. They're going to keep trying. You see the Six of Cups? They're trying to offer you this cup with flowers in it and this person here is just turning their head away quite shyly, not sure whether they should accept it. It's again that indecisive energy here. And the love is as well, this is love, but it's also about this, uh, you know, Gemini can be very decisive, they can think one thing and then think another thing very, very quickly. 
I'm so sorry, my laptop is overheating right now. I'm really, really sorry about that, but this message is great. So I'm going to continue on. We have the Wheel of Fortune, which brings abundance to you. I am seeing, though, that there is going to be this change that happens, and after that change happens, you know, you're really going to be receptive. I really feel like you're going to be receptive to this particular person who's really trying to get into your energy. They're not someone that's going to disrupt your energy. I feel, if anything, you're much more feeling like... I feel like you're disrupting more of your energy than they would try and disrupt your energy, if that makes sense. They're only there to help you grow and feel better and really support you. And they're just there to compliment your life, which is what a partner is. You know, they're there to compliment you, not necessarily to be your other half, let's say. You know, two holes complementing each other, not two broken halves. That's not what it is whatsoever. Um, it's about, you know, two people really supporting each other, and that's great. So yes, there's this transformation that's going to happen emotionally and I feel like you're going to be able to get out of this particular situation that you're in with these three cards where um, essentially you're not so receptive to going out and going out on dates, meeting new people. I think it's going to be a really great thing if you choose to do so because you are going to come across someone that's really great for you. I think deep down you want that, but the idea of dating just kills you and I feel you too. I mean, I don't like that either, but that's just how it is it's that little risk that we take in life but yeah there's this feeling of like if you go on dates you're just going to get hurt and it's not going to be fun it's not going to be good you're going to feel sad and depressed and lonely and something because you know people might hurt you along the way and then you're going to be dragged out of this energy and you're going to feel like this but I feel like you're doing this to yourself without even knowing so Pisces, keep calm and carry on. Um, I do feel like there's someone that's going to come into your energy. Just try and be receptive, but remember to listen to your gut. And I do feel like there's going to be an emotional transformation that takes place, which will be able to take you from the situation. And then you're actually going to be really receptive to this person, I feel. There is, in fact, abundance coming your way and a great person coming your way as well, who I feel is one of your soulmates. So Pisces, that is your reading. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like this video, subscribe, comment down below if it resonated. Check out the description box of my video um, for the giveaway and also private reading information and everything else, including my bracelets. And I will see you all very soon. Take care. Bye.